What's good everybody? This is your boy DB Kicks, man. We're back with another video. Today I got a how to style on the highly anticipated Air Jordan 4 Military Black. I'll be showing you guys five different outfits, how I personally would style the shoe for the summer. Alright, so this is hit on a few details on this shoe. Retail is $210. Definitely a hefty retail price. Uh, Jordan brand ain't playing. We don't have any pricing on the shoe, but it was 210. I think Nike was charging 199. I'm not sure. Pricing was just all over the place. So the Jordan 4 Military Black is basically getting its color blocking from my personal favorite Air Jordan, which is the Military Blue Air Jordan 4. Love it. Hopefully it comes back pretty pretty soon. It's the same style uh, with the exception of the white upper. Military Blue 4s actually have an off-white upper. That's how they're supposed to be. And we're all the black accents are such as the midsole, the wings, the tongue, that's all swapped out for black instead of military blue, which I really, really like. You got suede on the toe box, and these are very clean, man. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of against this shoe when I first seen it, um, and the closer and closer came to release date, I definitely fell victim, but I really, really like what they did with this Jordan 4. A couple of other details that I do like about the shoe. Behind the tongue, you have a satin type of sock liner, and the lining on the shoe is actually like a very light silver lining, so it's very comfortable on the ankle. Um, as far as the material build and the quality, you know, what the shoe really feel like, you know what I mean? Um, to the touch, the quality is very good. This Jordan 4 definitely feels better than um, your typical Jordan brand materials. That is a fact, and I'm gonna stand by that. But um, I really like just how neutral and just how clean it is. This is one of those Jordans that I think are essential for the summer. You're gonna see these everywhere. So with that being said, you better get a pair now because I think prices, they'll dip a little bit. And you guys have seen the Jordan 4 trend is going way up. So you might wanna snag these now before it's too late. And I'm not one to really push that agenda on my channel if you guys are returning subscribers or viewers. But I'm telling you, this is gonna be the Jordan 4 of the summer. These are gonna be very hot. So don't sleep, man, don't sleep. I was able to hit a pair on sneakers and a pair in store, so I got pretty lucky. This is the first Jordan Retro I bought in some time um, that I really don't have any issues with. There's no glue stains, none of that. And these are one of those Jordans that are gonna go straight to the toe. Maybe not today, but very, very soon these will get worn. Um, very clean out, so I'm just a big fan of the Jordan 4 Military Black. All right, starting off with a very clean, simple outfit. Simple is at its best. Well, simple is it is the best to me. That's more of my speed. So I'm wearing a J. Crew All White Heritage T-shirt. I do have a video on these T-shirts. I highly recommend them. This one does have a nice pocket on it. Very good quality T-shirt. And I capped that off with a Florida Marlins fitted cap. This is the teal and black one with the World Series side patch on the front. Your boy is from Florida, so I always rep Florida. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere I go. But anyways, and to make this outfit stand out a little bit more, just accessorize it with a Cernucci bracelet. This is a gold bracelet and just a gold chain. The denim is from Gap. This is a slim fit. Very comfortable pair of pants. A light wash denim. You can never, ever go wrong with. Sitting on top of that Jordan 4 Military Black. This is just a clean white tee and jeans outfit. This is um, one of those outfits that are always ready. You know, you're always, you should always be ready to go. You know what I'm saying? You want to have something very simple and clean. Or if you don't want to try too hard, then this is your best bet right here. Next outfit, we have something a little bit different i took a took a risk all right but uh don't be scared to play with colors a little bit man just because the shoe is just white and black doesn't mean you have to wear white and black with it so what i did here was accent the military black four with a pair of like peach bright peach nike joggers these are lightweight so you're good to wear these in the summer in my opinion but i do have on a gray and white carhartt script t-shirt and the Jordan 4 military black to kind of match the shirt. I just wanted to do some color, you know. Let me know what you guys think about an outfit like this. I just was not going to style this whole shoe with black and white. To me, that just didn't make sense, and it's no fun. It's just bright, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to be seen when you wear uh, a pair of pants like this, you know, almost on the pink side, but hey, your boy DV Kicks pulled it off, in my opinion. 
Um, and also just to mention anything that I can link in the description box below, I will do that. Next outfit, this is a vintage inspired outfit. So this is the Eminem t-shirt. I've had this t-shirt for quite some time now, but it's got sort of a vintage graphic to it. Um, shout out to Eminem. I, I like Eminem. Slim Shady is that guy, in my opinion, one of the goats. But anyway, I love the graphic on here. Black and green, it's fire. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I threw on a pair of Nike SB cargo pants because cargo pants, Jordan 4s, they work well together. The Jordan 4 is a chunky, kind of a clunky shoe. So when you wear a baggier pair of pants with it, they sit perfect in my opinion. This is more of a brownish color. Um, not so much olive green. I abuse olive green in my wardrobe, but you know what? I had to switch it up. Throw a little brown in there, sitting on top of the Jordan 4 military black and a black Fear of God Essentials fitted cap. This is a rugged type of outfit. This is the definition of a streetwear outfit, in my opinion, and a streetwear look. All right, let's get some shorts in here because they're probably like, why is this guy wearing all these pants and jeans? But let, man, people wear jeans or pants in the summer. It's not an uncommon thing. This outfit is featuring a graphic t-shirt from one of my current favorite streetwear brands, which is Pleasures. It says hate free on it. It's just black, white, and silver. Like a cool type of graphic on the back of it with a female on it. You know what I'm saying? The hottest shorts right now still, I still think these shorts are running the game right now. The Nike woven shorts, classic black and white color, and the Jordan 4 military black. Just an all black fit essentially, but made for the summer because it is a short sleeve and the Nike woven shorts. And I have videos on the woven shorts as well, but check that out. Check that out after I finish this video here. Just a quick tip. I think you can literally get any pair of Nike woven shorts with the right t-shirt and wear it with the Jordan 4 military black. So next and final outfit, one of my favorite combinations is a flannel and a fresh tee. So this outfit is featuring an H&M lightweight flannel, very lightweight flannel. So this shirt is fine in the summertime, guys. I promise you. Um, this one is probably sold out at this point. It is very old. Use it for inspiration. If you guys could catch some good flannels that are lightweight in H&M, um, they make some pretty good ones with nice patterns and nice colors. I just realized this whole outfit is from H&M. So these are a pair of cream colored, or not cream, more so on the beige side. H&M sweatpants, these hit for like $12.99. They're actually very comfortable. They're not too wide legged, uh, pretty slim to be honest. Um, not high quality or anything like that, but just very comfortable and they get the job done. As far as the t-shirt under it, I went with a Uniqlo tee. Um, a little bit on the boxier side for a slim fit flannel, but I made it work somehow. But I would personally recommend, um, you know, not wearing such a big t-shirt under it. Whenever I rock the long sleeve flannel with the sweat shorts, I always do white tube socks. It's just a proportion thing for myself. It just wouldn't look right with short socks, but that's just me being weird, maybe. It doesn't matter. You do, you guys do whatever makes you feel comfortable, all right? So that wraps up the how to style portion of the Jordan 4 Military Black. What you guys think about these outfits? You can be honest. I'm always open to constructive criticism, but the goal here in this video, I really just wanted to do um, this shoe. I wanted to add color to it. It just wouldn't have done the shoe no justice if you just did a whole video on just black and white outfits, but that is just my opinion. But definitely an excellent summer shoe. I, I'm just, I'm happy to get these. Can't wait to rock these. And they are the Jordan for uh, the summer. These are very essential. And when winter comes, I am definitely excited to snag the Jordan 4 black canvas with the suede. Oh my God, them things is crazy. But I appreciate you guys coming through, showing love to the channel. If you are new to the channel, you do like what you see, please feel free to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. The goal is 10K before the end of the year. And I appreciate you guys coming through and your boy DB Kicks is out.